I don't have the faintest idea how the hell to say this. Her tip, hell, golden hell is lager. Oh, it's low and brow. I didn't know they were still around. Here's the can. It's all the roll is to see. Here's what I know about low and brow. All I remember about them is a low and brow was a light or something else, a green beer bottles from about the mid 90s. I don't have any idea what this or tip or what, I don't know what that means. Hell is lager, so hellas means bright, clear in German. Lager for mid lower temperature with lager yeast. This is 4.8% alcohol. This came out of a Costco box. It's the Brewers Advent Keller 2017. Has 24 beers in it, meant to be drank December 1st through 24th. Yeah, they're going to be out long before that. All unique beers, or at least should be, all from Germany. It's important. Available at Costco. It was about $58, $59. Came down to about $2.40 a beer. As far as I know, the Advent Calendar is only available at Costco. All I know about this beer is it comes from Germany. It's Hell's Lager. Hell's Lager. I know it says Hell, but it's actually Hell's. So I'm expecting this to be very light in color, light in body, bright, not hazy. Maybe a little sweet, maybe a little fruity. Don't have any idea of what the bitterness is, but a hell is lager should not be bitter. All right, let's quit talking and quit pouring here. Open the can. That's what it looks like, exactly like I thought. Bright, golden, well, straw color. Very bright, very clear. Paper thin head. Clean, crisp, touch of uh, sweet fruit on the nose. I don't really get anything else out of it. Well, I'm just going to drink it now rather than spend time sniffing it. It tastes light body, covers the upper section of my mouth, and fades very quickly. There's a little bit candy sweet, but that's just a tease of it. Very thin, a little watery. Uh, it's uh, now it's mostly collecting the roof of my mouth. It just kind of falls off, dissipates. There's nothing lingering. I could see how someone might think this tastes a little grainy of them, or bread even. Light sweet. It's not a complex mouthfeel at all. I was expected to be bright and very crisp in my mouth. It's not really. Usually that's a characteristic of a lager is to be crisp and clean. I'm not really getting much of that. I'm reading some other people pick up <clears throat> malt, crackers, grass. To this day, I still don't know how somebody can eat grass. How do you know what grass tastes like unless you've been eating it? A little bit of a hop flavor, not bitterness, but flavor. Some tingling now. It's like a paper thin feel in the mouth and just falls away. That sweetness is the only thing that stays behind and even that falls off pretty fast. I could maybe see how someone gets citrus out of this, but the taste in here is so light. Now, I'm detecting grass or bread or biscuit or grain. I'm gonna go ahead and try the can now and see how that compares. Covers my mouth a little bit more. Flavor's a little more subtle, but they're still, this, the same flavor's still present. A little hop nibble, not much. Well, I could maybe see how some would, would feel this is medium body. I think it's more light body. Subtle sweetness, mostly. Little tiny citrus, and a little bit of hop tingle bitterness to it. It just hits my mouth, mostly stays the top and then just falls away. There are no off flavors at all. There's no skunk, diacetyl, DMS, astringency, oxidation, no nail polish I tell, no um, acetone. Uh, there's no nasty fruit flavors, fusel alcohols. Would I buy it again? Yeah, I wouldn't. I'd get a can or two, it'd be about it. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. There's once more. I believe I, I did see it's available in a bottle. I think it's an average Hellas Lager. That's about all. I've had others are better. If somebody asked me, oh, what's a great Hellas Lager, I wouldn't say this one. All right, well, that's all I have for this review. I'll move on to the next one pretty soon. Cheers.